Okay, hi everybody. We are looking at similarities and differences and comparing elements on the periodic table. You can see that we've got sodium. We already know that it's single electron in its outer shell. One electron means it's in group one. And potassium is also in group one and is the element below sodium. When we're talking about their reactions, both sodium and potassium will react in similar ways because they both have that single electron in their outer shell. It means that both of them give away one electron. Both of them will become a one plus ion and the chemistry that they do will be similar. So there's three equations here. Both of these metals react with water to make a, a metal hydroxide and hydrogen. If we pop sodium in here, we'd say sodium reacts with water to make sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. Whereas potassium reacts with water to make potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen. And we could do the same thing with the reaction with oxygen. Sodium plus oxygen makes sodium oxide. Potassium plus oxygen will make potassium oxide. And also with a halogen, remember that means group seven elements. So fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Sodium plus chlorine would make sodium chloride. Potassium plus chlorine would make potassium chloride. So we know that all of these elements, and the same thing would apply to any group, all of group one do similar chemistry. Group two do similar chemistry to each other. Group three do similar chemistry to each other and so on. And that's all to do with the fact that they've got the same number of electrons in their outer energy level. So why do sodium and potassium behave in a similar way? Because they both have one electron in their outermost shell to make bonds with. How are they different? They're different because potassium is more reactive than sodium. And remember, we can explain why potassium is more reactive by talking about the distance that that outer electron is away from the nucleus. So the nucleus is holding these electrons in place because the nucleus is positive and is attracting the negative electrons to it. And the further away the outermost energy level gets, the bigger the distance is, the weaker that hold of the nucleus pulling on it. And so potassium loses its outermost electron easier than sodium. Potassium is more reactive than sodium. You could add to your explanation the fact that an extra layer of electrons in the potassium atom also shields the outermost energy level from the pull of the nucleus and further adds to the ease with which potassium can lose its outer electron and react.